Table 1 Gaming Yu-Gi-Oh! Videos What's up guys, Table 1 Gaming here again, and have you ever wondered what the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! Bandits looked like or how it even happened? Well today's video is going to go over the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! Bandits. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel, I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! Bandits came out on May 2002. Two months after the release of the first set, Legend of Blue Eyes and Starter Deck Yugi and Kaiba. Yu-Gi-Oh! was really slow back then. The main play was to set a monster and set one back row or two and pass. Although not many cards were considered broken by any means during this time, there were a few cards that caused the game to become unbalanced. Competitive players became smart and started playing three copies of the most broken cards possible to come up with strategies that immediately gave them the upper hand. This is when card prices started to skyrocket in the secondary market. Players who could get a hold of these expensive cards had a big advantage over those who couldn't. In response to all of this, Konami decided to make something called the Forbidden and Limited list. They made one for the OCG and the TCG, considering that Japan was already a set ahead and had a different metagame. In this video, we'll only be looking at the TCG version of the May 2002 ban list. However, I might make a video on the OCG version in the near future. So basically cards that were forbidden were not allowed to be played at all, semi-limited cards could be played at 2, and limited cards were only allowed at 1 copy per deck. Let's take a look at what exactly Konami decided to hit on the first ever ban list. So Konami decided to hit a total of 12 cards, 5 monsters, 7 magic cards, and 0 trap cards. For those of you who don't know, they were called magic cards instead of spell cards back in the day. I recently made a video on that topic so go check that out if you're interested. Anyway. As you can see, there's nothing forbidden on this first ever ban list, which is understandable. Nothing was extremely broken back in the day that needed a ban. If we look at the limited section, we see the 10 limited cards being all 5 pieces of Exodia and 5 spell cards. Back in the day, the game was much slower paced and this really favored the Exodia strategy. You could stall for as long as possible and with multiple copies of Exodia pieces, your odds were higher to get them in your hand right away. A well deserved hit by Konami. So the 5 spell cards that were limited are Change of Heart, Dark Cold, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, and Regeki. These were basically the first ever power spell cards of the game. You had OTK Potential with Change of Heart and Monster Reborn, Board Wipes with Dark Cold and Regeki, and Draw Power with Pot of Greed. Now let's take a look at the semi-limited section of the first ever ban list. So we see that Card Destruction and Swords of Revealing Light are here. Card destruction was semi-limited because of a combo you could pull off with Monster Reborn and Blue Eyes White Dragon. At the time, Blue Eyes was the strongest monster in the entire game with 3000 attack points. The monster was difficult and risky to summon because it required 2 tributes and could easily lose to Trap Hole. Trap Hole was very popular at the time because it was one of the few ways to destroy monsters during your opponent's turn. Players started becoming smart and decided to run 3 card destruction and 3 Monster Reborn along with 3 Pot of Greed. This strategy helped you send your blue eyes to the graveyard and revive them with Monster Reborn to beat down the opponent very quickly. The best part about this strategy is that it doesn't lose to Trap Hole as they cannot be destroyed because they were special summoned. This is the reason why Konami had to put card destruction in 2. The reason Swords of Revealing Light was semi-limited is because of Exodia stalling strategies. Hardly any back row removal existed at that time so it was very likely the card was going to stick around for the full 3 turns. Having 3 swords in your deck meant that you had 9 free turns of not having to worry about life point damage, and in the meantime you could use your 3 pot of greeds and multiple copies of Exodia pieces to get to your win condition. This was certainly not fun to play against so Konami felt the need to put swords to 2. Well that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite limited spell card from the first ever May 2002 ban list. Thanks for watching, this is Table 1 Gaming signing out.